Here's how to make the classic cocktail that's none other than the breakfast martina. Invented in 1996, it's pretty modern as far as classics go, but a classic nevertheless. And how many times can I say classic in 10 seconds? A lot. Step one, grab a coupe, fill that with ice and give that a little stir. Don't worry, this is just to chill it. So put it to one side and grab yourself a cocktail shaker. Into that cocktail shaker, we're going to put 50 milliliters of gin, whichever gin you like to use, it's totally up to you, personal preference and all that, who am I to tell you what to use? My recommendation, London Dry, you can never go wrong. So 50 milliliters of gin goes in. Next up, we're going to add an orange liqueur and it's going to be none of other than Cointreau. We're going to go in with 20 milliliters. It's going to add to those orangey flavors and it's also going to add a little bit of sweetness. And we all love a bit of sweetness, right? especially in the morning. After that, we're gonna need some sour just to balance that out. And we're gonna go in with lemon juice. The freshest is the bestest. And we're gonna go in with 25 milliliters. Last but not least is our main ingredient, the thing that makes it the breakfast martina, and that is orange marmalade. You see, marmalade, breakfast -er. martina, breakfast martina makes sense right so crack the lid off your orange marmalade and we're going to go in with one heaped bar spoon or teaspoon or as much you like it's going to add a bit of texture it's going to add to that sweetness it's going to add to that orangeness give that oh i should mention your cocktail shaker you will be full of ice at this point give that a little stir just to help break up that marmalade and the marmalade is going to be really difficult to infuse in the cocktail so you've got to give it a real hard shape big vigorous hard shake you want to get a sweat on absolute freezing cocktail shaker then grab your glass from before remember all the ice dump it out get rid of that now you got an ice cold glass for your ice cold cocktail how perfect is that now strain your cocktail and you want to use a fine strainer because you're gonna have little bits of marmalade they're gonna make the way through so you want to finely strain that out and then all that's left is to garnish it with an orange, of course. So grab yourself a peeler and let's peel off a big chunk of orange like so. Now you can just dip this in, you can drop it in, do whatever you like. What I like to do is I like to neaten it up first so I can put it on the rim. So to neaten it up, I just take a, I just take a powdering knife and I just go around the edge of it, neaten all those edges and you should get something that looks a little bit like this. Look at that, neat. Give it a little twist to get it going and then do one more cut or incision in the middle of the orange peel like so and that's going to help it attach to the rim so give it a final twist find out where that cut is open it up and then you can just use that to slide it on the side of the glass like so looks all cute looks nice and there you have it that right there that's a breakfast martina good enough for breakfast all right that'll wake you up in the morning surely vibrant beautiful but how does it taste let me have a go on this it tastes delicious chef's kiss that'll do enjoy don't forget to check out some of my other classics this is part of my 100 days of classic cocktails so there's 99 more classics that you may not have seen check them out thanks for watching bye for now